In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a game-changing hack to color correction in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown here with Editor's Keys. Now, if you're into Adobe Premiere Pro or video editing, consider subscribing to the channel because that's what we're all about. Now, have you ever watched a TV show or a movie and you've just wanted to grab that look and put it onto your own video production? Well, in this simple tutorial, I'm gonna show you kind of like a beginner's step for color correction so you can achieve that Hollywood look on all of your new video projects. Now, just a quick note, I'm not saying this is how you should color correct for every video project, but this is just such a nice, simple tool within Adobe Premiere that you might not be aware of. So I'm gonna pick three styles to show you within this video. We've got a royalty-free city shot that we really liked, and then we've got a nighttime still from the film The Joker, which is a great film if you haven't seen that. And then we've got a daytime still from The Florida Project all completely different styles and great cinematography. So let's get into it. So the first thing to do is drag your clip in, then place the still next to it. This is what you want to use. Now click here to show comparison view. Now you have a split screen. So go to this line here and drag it so the other shot is showing on your left hand side. Now go over to the Lumetri color panel and go to the color wheels and match selection. Make sure your own clip is selected and then click here where it says apply match. And there you go, it's as simple as that. But don't just leave it there. Make sure you do some basic color correction to match it even better. Just make sure you go through and correct things like the exposure, saturation, and the highlights. So there we go, I think that's a really cool way of getting a really nice look very, very quickly. And it's a great place to start if you're getting into color correction for the first time. From here, you can play around with the color wheels and then start experimenting with your shadows, your highlights and your midtones. But now let's jump into the still from the Joker and play around with that. Now for this look, I've gone for a nighttime Joker still. The Joker has a really nice look and tone to the entire film. And I've seen a lot of videos online about achieving the Joker look. And again, I'm not saying this is how you should color grade it straight up, but for beginners, it's very helpful. So again, you should repeat the same process and then add some minor adjustments and basic color correction to get it to match up. And there you go, I think that's a pretty good look. Now, the final shot is from the film, The Florida Project. So again, repeat the same steps as before and do some adjustments and basic color to match it. And there you go, it's as simple as that. Now sometimes this technique may not work on every single shot. So make sure when you do get a still or a video clip, make sure that it's a good quality image and all of the colors are clear so that Premiere Pro can match it as best as possible. So there we go, I hope that little tip has helped you. It's really good for just improving your color grading if you're a beginner, and I actually think if you're a pro, it's a real great tip if you didn't know this existed. We use it to sometimes match up shots that are taken days apart, but it's also great, as you've seen in our example, to actually match the look of some films that you might be trying to go for. So let me know in the comments section below, did you know about this? Are you gonna start using this for your video projects? Well, thanks for watching, and remember to stay tuned for more Premiere Pro videos, and I'll see you in the next one.